Hello all and welcome to this video designed to help you with your Year 8 River Pollution Assessment which asks you to evaluate the impact of river pollution on two contrasting rivers. Now before we can start to answer this question and before we can start to think about our assessment we need to understand what some of the key words in the question mean. Two key words, evaluate and contrasting. Now if we evaluate something we have to have two things. We have to look at one side of the argument and we have to look at the other side of the argument. If something is contrasting, then it's very different. We can use the example of these two mobile phones. On the left hand side, I've got an old Nokia phone, and on the right hand side, I've got an iPhone. Now if we started to contrast these, we could start to look at some of the differences. Okay, so some of the differences are, I might be able to get on the internet and Facebook on this phone, but on this phone, I can't really do much other than play Snake, make calls, and um, send text messages. But actually, they're similar in some ways, because both phones will allow me to send a text message, both phones will allow me to make a phone call. Now, if I was to evaluate these two contrasting, I might say that the iPhone is better because it lets me do a lot more than this old Nokia would. But I might also say that this Nokia is much, much easier to use and is probably less likely to break. So what we've done there is we've looked at how they're different, maybe how they're similar, and we've come to some conclusions as to which one we think might be the best. Now you're going to have to do it exactly the same with your assessment. But with your assessment, you're going to be evaluating and comparing two contrasting rivers. The two rivers that you're going to look at are the River Ganges, which flows through India, and the River Tigris, which flows through Baghdad in Iraq. Firstly, before we can start to compare them, we need to answer the question, what is river pollution? And you should be able to remember rightly that we said that river pollution was when um, the river became contaminated with things that wouldn't usually be in it. And we gave some examples of some different types of river pollution. We came up with some key words, such as agricultural, which meant waste from farming. So things like the nitrogen that they put on the land that eventually flows into the rivers that could kill the fish. We looked at industrial waste, so waste that perhaps comes from factories and that comes from different industries. We also looked at domestic waste, so the waste that we have in our own homes, whether it's the detergents that we put down our sinks um, and things that we use within our own homes that can eventually find their way into the rivers. Now in order to evaluate, we need to look at both the River Tigris and the River Ganges. And in order to do that, we need to give their geographical location. So I've underlined there, include a map, because it's really important as a geographer that you are clear on exactly whereabouts in the world it is that you are looking at. Once we've done that, we might want to take it logically. So we might want to start with the river Ganges. Now I've put two questions up there. The first one says, how is it polluted? The second one says, what are the effects? So you might want to write two mini paragraphs to find out how the River Ganges is polluted and what are its effects. So for example, for part one, you might talk about the fact that people use it to bathe in, that people use it to wash in, that people also use it as a toilet and that it's a holy river and perhaps that bodies float down it. And you might start to talk about some of the effects, the fact that people might contract diseases like cholera. Once you've done that, you need to make sure that you're categorising your effects. Now all this year we've been working on using our keywords or our geography words and these are three that are going to come up an awful lot. Social, economic and environmental. And you need to remember rightly that if it's a social impact, it's to do with people. If it's an economic impact, it's to do with money. And if it's an environmental impact, it's to do with the environment and nature. And for those highest levels on this assessment, you need to be able to put some of the impacts or some of the effects into each of those categories. So if you can recognise that people get ill as a social um, impact, then that's going to get you higher marks. Next, we're going to move on to the River Tigris, and you're going to do exactly the same. So question one, how is it polluted? Two, what are the effects? And remember, you still need to be using social, economic and environmental. Once we've done that, we need to start comparing them and contrasting them in order to give a full evaluation of which one has the biggest impacts or the biggest effects. So, how are they similar? It might be that both of them are polluted and have similar effects, perhaps maybe on the fishermen and the fact that fishermen can't fish. We also need to look at how they are different. It might be that the River Ganges has more domestic waste, whereas the River Tigris has more industrial waste. Then you need to evaluate it properly. Which of these two rivers has the biggest impact? Now you might have a combination of lots of different things. You might say that one has a bigger impact on people, but one has a bigger impact on the economy. That's completely up to you. And most importantly, you've got to remember, so what? If you're going to go into the sort of detail that's going to get you level sixes, you need to make sure that you're explaining fully 
um, some of these different impacts. Now remember, we talked about the fishermen. So the fishermen can't catch any fish. Well, so what? What happens next? Well, obviously, if they can't catch any fish, they can't ca make any money. Obviously, you can follow the department on Twitter, at Jog Department, or if you've got any questions, send us a tweet or email in. Good luck.